Hey Bulls fans, Adam here here with another Bulls Bat Rep. Today we have the Ultramarines versus some Tyranids. My High Fleet, High Fleet now dubbed High Fleet Cobra Kai, because I'm wearing a t-shirt. Anyway, um, we are playing 1500 points today. We have three objectives in the center. As you can see, here's one right there. There's one right in the middle, and one right there. Well, three along the center line. Uh, the Ultramarines are set up and deployed. My Nids are also set up and deployed. Uh, Ultramarines have first turn, and I'm going to run through my list real quick, and then we'll jump over to Big Red, who's playing the Ultramarines, and his list. So, the rundown. I've got a Hive Tyrant with Lash Whip Bone Sword and a Heavy Venom Cannon. Uh, two Tyrant Guard with them. A Venom Throat. A second Venom Throat over here. Uh, I've got two Carnifexes and one Squad with Double Devours. A Horror Specs. Just uh, Adrenal Glands, and I think I took Toxin Sacks, but I'll double check. I've got... Uh, 16 Hormigants with Toxin Sacks. I've got one squad of 12 uh, Termagants with Devourers and another squad of 12 with Devourers. I've got three Warriors, one, two, three. Uh, two of them have Despeders, one of them has a Venom Cannon, and then the uh, Venom Throat, which I already pointed out. So that's my 1500 point Tyranid list, and let me go over to Big Reds. Okay, so naturally, of course, we're playing on the Fat Mat here, uh, and then I've got we got some Mantic Terrain as well, and some GW other terrain. Uh, and kits and assorted stuff like that, and this awesome Mickey D sign that fell over <laughs> the Bulls home studio stuff. So, anyway, Big Red's list. Uh, he is running a Rhino, well, two tax squads, so there's one there, one there. Uh, inside, uh, they have combat squad, it looks like, and a plasma gun, missile launcher, and one tax squad. Uh, Rhino has both Storm Bolters. The other Rhino, both Storm, storm Bolters. This one looks like it has a Melta Gun and a Laz Cannon there, 10 man. Uh, we've got a Venerable Dread armed with a Plasma Gun, Plasma Cannon, excuse me. Uh, we've got a Land Raider with Terminator, or with uh, Stern Guard inside. Ooh, the Terminator's Deep Striking? Yes, they are. And there's a Space Marine Terminator Captain over there as well, Deep Striking. There's a Storm Talon, uh, also coming in reserve. The uh, Stern Guard are in the Land Raider, uh, just a typical Land Raider there. Last Cannon's uh, Heavy Bolter, looks like an extra Storm Bolter as well. And anything fancy, there's seven Stern Guard, and I think they have like a power weapon. Uh, no, no heavy weapon upgrades for them. Uh, they're just gonna be shooting my bugs. So, that's the rundown. Again, uh, I have first turn, so uh, let's see if I get that, uh, that uh, seize on them. All right, Bulls fans, it's Big Red. I'm here with a quick break. I am going to be going first, but because I'm up against the crafty Cobra Kai. High yes. Fleet Cobra Kai for all you um, Karate Kid fans. Karate Kid fans. He's going to attempt to seize. All right, Adam, here we go. Sweep Ready? the leg. Sweep the leg. Paint the fence, no. Daniel Sun. Mr. Lawrence. Oh, did not pay attention. Ouch. The craft world did not pay attention Ooh. to Mr. Miyagi. Ooh. All right, so that is Ultramarines. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit really quick about my Ultramarines army which is, why am I taking this army? And the theme of this game, which I think um, I'd like to see a little bit more of out there in the gaming community, is uh, I went with uh, the prettiest miniatures I had. That is the theme of this <laughs> battle. So uh, it, it, we did not look for super awesome units and min-max points. This time was just, uh, we wanted to just have a game where I just said, I want to play with the prettiest toys that I have. So we went, we went to the cabinet. I mean, there's a Haru Specs on the table, people, come on. We're, um, you know, we're, 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 we're not, you know, in training for Super World, Global World Com Tournament 2014. Right. We are here to have some fun and just show off all of our toys that we really, really like. And we spent a lot of time painting. And we hope you enjoy It's kind of, you know, just a nice, casual, classic, old school battle report. So uh, we'll see how, how it goes. But that said, you know, he failed to seize. So I'm going to oh. totally crush him. Okay, bye. All right, Ultramarines turn one. Uh, we had some Rhinos shuffle up. Uh, he took a pop shot at some Carnifexes. They're in deep cover, plus there's a Venom Throat. So three up saves, made those. Uh, we did not have night fighting first turn. Uh, so Ultramarines first turn shooting, he managed to kill a Hormigant. Woo! All right. <laughs> not, not happy. Not happy. Not happy. Not yeah. happy. It's okay. It's okay. All right, Mr. Lawrence, sweep the leg. Okay, bottom one, Nids, uh, moved up a bunch of stuff. Uh, this whole side ran a whole bunch. Uh, they're like twos and threes over here. I did get a, a six over here, but the center over here was super fast. They decided to go sixes. So uh, Gaunt's move uh, with Bounding Leap, they do D6 plus three. So that's how they're all the way at the objective now. Um, the uh, Carnifex is also rolled six. I did get my Onslaught power off 
Uh, I rolled Onslaught and uh, uh, Psychic Scream for my Psychic Powers, and then I also have Dominion for... Anyway, um, <laughs> got Onslaught off on the Carnifexes. They also rolled six, so they were able to move up and get in range of the Rhino, which has now been destroyed. Uh, the guys got out, so first blood nids. Uh, the Hive Tarrant shot his Heavy Venom Cannon at the uh, Land Raider Pump. and did absolutely nothing. That so rolled a one. Rolled a one. Womp womp. Kind of like my Seize Initiative. Good job, Tyranids. So yeah, uh, Ultramarines, turn two. Turn two Ultramarines, top of the turn. Uh, this brave squad came down right there. Uh, pretty awesome for the Terminator and the Captain. Uh, these guys moved up. The Storm Talon came on, zoomed, zoomed on, and uh, unloaded over here. I'll get to that in a second. Everything else shot up, moved around a little bit. Uh, my casualties over here. The Hormigod squad is looking a lot thinner. Uh, I did quite a few wounds over here. Uh, over here, the Hive Turret took the brunt of it after the Venom Throat died. Remember, folks, always kill the Venom Throat first. Always kill the yep, Venom Throat first. The Storm Talon Storm came Talon. in. Oh, oh it, it pops back on. It's okay. <laughs> Storm Talon came in and just lit up the Venom Throat. Uh, he's only tough four and he had Typhoon Missile Launchers. So that's two Strength 8 shots and he, he was able to, to do it. So um, I, I was about to go to ground. I remembered I can't because Tyranids are fearless and therefore can't do it. So uh, over here, did some damage. I lost the high target guard and one wound left on that one. Um, thanks to the uh, shield wall thing, I can just shove wounds around. So, okay, uh, that's it. That's gonna be time for Tyranid uh, bottom of two. Tyranid's turn two, what happened? I learned that Ultramar is, is good at punching Tyranids in the face. These Hormagons actually had the most action in this game. Uh, they were able to move up, get into assaults. Uh, they took some wounds going in. Uh, no, they didn't take wounds going in. They took no wounds, they took going, no wounds going in, but the uh, because I was moving through cover, he hit me first, killed a bunch of Gaunts. Uh, the remaining Gaunts did like 10, 10 or eight wounds and he saved all but one. I lost combat by three. Uh, they were outside of Synapse, so they broke. they broke. They fell back back into Synapse, so they automatically rallied. Uh, now they're sitting there. So <laughs> those gods are very confused as to what just happened to them. Uh, shooting phase, nothing too exciting happened. The Carnifexes tried to shoot down the Storm Talon, and they did uh, no. They did three hits uh, with Twin Link sixes, and only managed to do zero damage. <laughs> Uh, everything else just kind of moves around. These, uh, this unit here, the the tyrant and the guard, uh, they truffle shuffle. They did not get very good move through cover slash run rolls, like a one and a two. So uh, they they shuffled around. Other than that, uh, that was it for the nids turn two. It is now ultramarines. Ultramarines turn three, top of three. Uh, we have the uh, terminators moved up, and then some pretty sweet assault cannoning happened over here. They killed the final hive. Uh, guard and put a wound on the tyrant. Uh, this captain and this Storm Talon pilot captain flew up and completely whiffed. And Larry now wants him to die because it was pretty pretty miserable. Uh, he hit twice with the with uh, crack missiles and rolled double ones. So he's he he's like he deserves it. Whatever happens next. Uh, he took another shot from the land raider and took a wound there as well. Um, other than that, he just kind of reorganized and kind of reshuffled some stuff around. Shot up all the, these. Yeah, guys. Gaunts. That's right. This squad. Unloaded on these gaunts and, these guys. and those guys as well. They didn't do anything, but these guys totally killed a crap load of gaunts over there as well. I think four. So there, two left, two hanging out. Uh, we are going to go now to Cobra Kai, turn three. All right, Tyranid, turn three. What the heck happened? All right, I shuffled around some guys here, moved up in the building a little bit more uh, with the gaunt squad. The Hormigaunts moved up. The Carnifexes slid over. The Horsebacks went from over here. All the way into close combat, which I'm going to get to in a second. The Storm Talon is just fine. Uh, I happened to roll three more sixes on 24 dice with twin linkedness and no extra damage. So it was pretty pretty pathetic. So he's hanging out still. Um, over here, the uh, Terminators are down two Terminators. I did one wound with the, uh, the Heavy Venom Cannon from the uh, Hive Tyrant. So he did one wound there. Uh, killed a guy. Horror Specs charged in here with a super awesome charge of not oh he made it but uh combo was kind of a dud to be perfectly honest uh the burning blade captain is in there and he he has a strength seven sword and he happened to not wound at all not wound at all so and then the six power physics attacks back only did one wound to him uh he did kill he did happen to hit twice and, and did cause two wounds and uh larry made one save so i did kill a terminator of all my saves so we, we actually tied combat, but his Warlord trait is when in combat, he gets plus one to combat resolutions because whenever his master's in combat, he gets plus one to combat resolutions. 
So he actually won combat, but I'm within Synapse, Fearless, so we're going to be hanging out. Um, yeah, oh, uh, Larry, roll your uh, Burning Blade. On a one, yes, you take you a Strength 4 hit. Dun, dun, dun. Of course. Uh, of course. Of course. So, it has to wound. Yeah, still has to wound Strength 4. Does not wound at Tough 4, so there you go. So, Ultra Range turn 4. And real quick, to just recap, uh, we've got one objective here that is currently being claimed by the vehicle, which you can do that now. Uh, that one is op open, and this one is also technically open, but it's kind of, we're going to call it secured it's by... the middle of Gaunt Town. Yeah, if you want to go to Gaunt Town. So. All right, Ultramarines, turn four. Here we go. Ultramarines, turn four. My Gaunts in the middle there are completely dead. But that's not all. But thing. that's not all. My Hive Tyrant! He finally, finally failed some armor saves from everything. Uh, the last cannon, just two last cannon shots, finally connected, finally failed both of them. From here. So, no, failed with four ups, that's what happens. Uh, over here, real quick, close combat. Uh, he now has four wounds taken out of five, uh, and Whiff Town attacking back, so completely missed there. Uh, this, I've tried, or sorry, this Carnifex also took a wound. Uh, I lost my Venom Throw. The uh, the Sniper Talent came in and kind of redeemed himself, so that worked out. That is two for, he has, he has come in and, and clinically removed both Two of the Venom Thrones. Yes. From the Surgical point. strikes, that's what they do. So now uh, he can die. <laughs> smile on his face. I lost three uh, Gaunts from shooting as well over there. Uh, my Synapse is looking real thin, but I do have these four warrior or three Warriors in the middle there. Uh, trying to trying to linchpin my army now. So, yeah. Turn to turn four. Go get him, Cobra Kai. Here we go. Okay, turn to turn four. What happened? Uh, my guys moved up over here. I have that objective now secured. Um, Carnifex is rotated. Uh, to put the weaker one in the back and the stronger one in the front so that if I get shot, I should say when I get shot, uh, hopefully I can absorb some more hits. Storm Talon actually took a whole point this turn, uh, but that's all it took. So uh, that's going well for me. And then this Heart Specs is no more. The Burning Blade Captain finally decided to, to, to hit him and wound him. I failed my blind check. And on top of that, he died as well. So he just... So he died, he died blind. The, di the, the shock of going blind killed him. So... <laughs> Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I was able to do. I didn't have a really good position for these warriors to move, uh, trying to keep them in cover and in synapse. Um, and uh, yeah, Sundra Ultramar, turn five. Ultramarines turn four. So they have moved in. They are starting to put the pressure back on the center and try to reclaim everything. Sorry, turn five, excuse me. They are moving in turn five now. Uh, this combat happened. They shot him up and charged. Uh, th the captain, again, did not master the Burning Blade. He hasn't taken a wound from it, but he whiffed again. Uh, so the three wounds are actually from the Power Fist that charged. I did three wounds back, and he made all three saves. So he made two five-ups and a four-up. It's pretty impressive over there. Uh, the Storm Talon is actually hovering right now. So he went hover mode, took some pop shots at the, uh, the, the Warriors. He whiffed with both crack missiles, which would have pretty much ended the game right there for him. Uh, this Gaunt squad is looking way thin, down to three Gaunts, and then this squad of 12 is now claiming that objective. The Stern Guard have finally got out of their camping rhino, or sorry, camping land raider, and uh, just unloaded with Hellfire rounds. That's why there's only three Gaunts left. So I'm hurting bad. It's not looking good for the Cobra Kai uh, Tyranids here. Um, yeah, Tyranid, turn five. Uh, Tyranids, turn five. Gaunt Town, holding strong. Uh, my, my Gaunt Town Fortress shot up Stern Guard. Uh, with the warriors who are now hiding out in there as well. They did, uh, I killed three of the Storm Guard, so now there's four left. Uh, so righteous payback, but they totally made their uh, leadership check and they're hanging out. This combat happened. I am down to one Tyranid Carnifex with one wound left and his Burning Blade Captain, who happened to finally connect and do some real damage, which is why I only have one Carnifex with one wound left. So that's all that happened over here. I did not shoot at the Storm Talon because I had nothing that I really wanted to do to him because he's been absorbing shots all game and I'm tired of wasting him. So uh, just trying to keep him off that objective. We are gonna roll to see if the game ends. If we end right now, it's tied on objectives, but we'll do the final count. So Big Red, six. No. We are gonna keep going. All right, here we go, turn six. Ultramarines turn six. Uh, it is looking bad for Cobra Kai right now. Uh, that combat finally ended. The Carnifex is no more. Uh, all these other guys just kind of ran up to make sure that they had a secure hold on the objective. The Land Raider, uh, Steve McQueen, did over the terrain and everything and the dead Rhino to move 12 and block my Gaunts from trying to move in. 
All that I have left is one warrior who's taken, uh, he's got one wound left, he's hiding out under there, under there. and uh, I've got some gaunts that are holding the objective. So <laughs> if I can weather more, one more round of shooting, um, I might have an objective at the end of this turn. So anyway, Tyranids, turn six. Nid turn six, uh, the game is pretty much done at this point. Uh, turns go fast, we only have two units. <laughs> One of them is a single model. So what did my nids do their final turn? Uh, right here, they shot up over here. They, they finally, the, the Gaunts unloaded on the two last guys in that combat squad, finally killed them. The warrior took a final pot shot with his death spitter at the uh, the hovering guy. I hit twice I needed with two fives and I needed uh, sixes to do anything. And unfortunately I rolled not sixes. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna count the objectives and then we'll count up kill points and all that other fun stuff. But from the looks of it, all frames clearly have this one in hand. They've got two objectives just looking at the on the board. So uh, yeah, we'll count it up and give you a final tally right after this. Just to the tally, the final tally is gonna come out to seven to three, or sorry, excuse seven me, to seven to four. Uh, Ultramarines win this one. Uh, each objective, again, is worth three points. It's basically a modified crusade. Uh, so each objective is three points. Uh, he also has Slay the Warlord, so that's his extra one there. Uh, neither one of us had Line Breaker. Um, and I had one objective, so that's three points, and I did get first blood with that rhino kill. So, four points for the nids. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Big Red, final thoughts? It was a fun game, I liked it. It was uh, just, it, it felt like I was playing 10 years ago. It was just a nice classic game. We both just had a lot of fun. The armies were really pretty. It's a really pretty board, and it, it was, you know, I mean, it's it's Ultramarines versus Tyranids. How much more kind of of a classic game can you can you get than that? Absolutely. I had a lot of fun. I know I was picking up models. I, I, I am hungry and tired right now, actually. <laughs> so uh, we're going to probably get some lunch after this. It's time for the High time, Fleet. Time, time for, for the High Fleet to feed. Exactly. Time to feed the High Fleet. Get some caffeine going, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun, too. I love playing against these Ultramarines, a gorgeous army. So even when they're uh, kicking me in the shins, you know, sweeping the leg while I'm down, it's cool because it's actually a really fun game. Big Red, always a gracious opponent. Uh, a lot of fun on my end. That Stormtown, I'm going to say he's the MVP just because he, he absorbed so much shooting and I just could not take him down. Um, it's statistically not likely, but sometimes, I mean, that's why we play a dice game because sometimes it doesn't matter. But anyway, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Adam Harry for Bulls. Signing off. Yep. Have a good one, guys.